And we're back with more exciting Incredible Hoax. I am Chris. I am Mark. And today, oh, we are coming from the lovely main cave. Not the main kitchen as the last set of videos we did. Yeah. All right, so as you know, if you watch this show, we only care about two NFL teams, the Cowboys and the Titans. So yeah. in keeping with that. And then all our interest just goes to, you know, We literally, literally the don't care about any yeah. other franchises like, at all. The other 30 teams. The, the other 30 teams, we don't care. We just watched the Super Bowl mm. for the comic value. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're doing we're doing Titans, right? Okay, I'll, I'll remove that. Yeah, there we go. I'll That's have better. You. See, I got I Titans. should have had my Titans hat. Hang, hang on, hang on. This is impromptu. Here, hang on. This wasn't expecting this. So, to properly represent, this is a Titans bear. Straight yes. from Nashville. All right. This one came from Nashville. It's a Build-A-Bear from Nashville Titans bear. Did you get it in the... Uh, Stadium gift shop? No, I think this was from the mall. Like they had that big Gaylord mall oh, cool. by the by the uh, Grand Ole Opry. Op Op yeah, Opry. the Opryland. I think thing. it was all that. I think it came from there. The, okay. fo the former Opry. Yeah. No, no, no. no, it's, no, it's, no it's, it's, it's the, the new. new. One. Yeah. The, the old right. Ryman is downtown. Ryman's downtown. That's yeah. right. Okay. So all right, we'll present your topic for the Titans. Okay, Titans off-season goals predictions. I think. You gotta shore up that secondary, and that and that number. Uh, that's number top, one. That's number one. Absolutely, number one, without a doubt, is the particularly corner. They actually have a nice safety rotation. I'm not as concerned about the safeties. They've they've got the, they got the Bayard. The, Bayard is is, is is a rookie that came in and played really well. Corner specifically, mm -hmm. uh, even McCordy, um, who is their quote unquote star corner. Is not living up to star corner status. Now, granted, he has no help, but um, I think you even have to look at or finding two corners. Mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, you have two top uh, 15 picks, 16 picks. I can't remember that. They've got the Rams pick at five, and then their own pick is they got two in the top 20, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Plus, they have 70 million. That's seven and a zero million in open cap space this coming year. Granted, they got to lock up some guys. Mariota's going to be coming up. They'll need to lock up. He's going to get one of those $100 million contracts and right, all that right. kind of stuff. So they got some guys that got short. Think about the future. So they don't need to blow mm -hmm. all $70 million, obviously. But they got the room. They got the capital in the draft and in free agency. Mm -hmm. Whatever, if, if they don't come out of draft and free agency, one of the two, with a top three, not five, a top three corner, then this offseason will be a complete waste. Right. They have to get a top three corner right. somewhere. Now, they have other needs, but that is like, there's that need, and then there's a gap, and then there's number two. Yeah, yeah. Corner is, oh, so bad for them. I, I would also like to see, with that second pick in the first round, find you a badass wide receiver. Please? Mm -hmm. Please? Be nice, because you know De Delaney Walker can only do so much. He's one man, and he's great. Uh, but they've got to give Mariota some more, con you know, reliable receiving uh, help. And uh, the running game is fine. I mean, they, they're going to be fine there. I don't have an issue there. Their offensive line, they've done a good job, kind of rebuilding that. I wouldn't mind spending another second round pick on a on a maybe a, a tackle or guard. It uh, wouldn't hurt my feelings, but I say wide receiver would be second priority, don't you? Wide receiver is the second priority. Um, I'm a little. I mean, the reason I made the face is I, I'm nervous about the Titans picking a receiver in the first round because <laughs> historically that doesn't work very well. Uh, they just don't do a good job in the first two rounds with a receiver. Yeah. Typically, I'm sure there's exceptions out there, but typically it doesn't work out. So that's the reason I made the frowny face. Yeah, the last I, 15 I, years. Yeah. I almost would rather they go in free agency and address receiver there. Right. And even if they have to overpay a little bit, would be fine. Uh, uh, they got Rashard Matthews this last offseason, and he mm -hmm. came up aces. He was a great find. They drafted Tajay Sharp in the fourth round, and he's a great possession receiver. But they need that bona fide you know, Antonio Brown, Des Bryant type guy. Right. And are just historically, we don't do good at getting them. But we have a new GM in town. Maybe that's a whole new case. But I, I can only go with what they've given me in the past. It ain't been good, even despite the GM. So we'll see. I would love them to do that. It is the second priority. But I almost mm -hmm. wish they would just go free agency. Right. And now in the prediction category, I think, 
I, you have to like the, the, that the team nine and seven. That to me, that was that's a really a, a good season to build on. The, what I'm looking for from their head coach um, Malarkey is I'm looking for a consistency from this team. This past season, it was up and down. I didn't get enough games where they just played four quarters consistent yeah. all the way across. That stuff falls on coaches to get people, to those players to, to play their maximum and be ready to play for four quarters. So that's what I'll be looking for this next season because if they're up and down again, they might make a change. That'd be a shame. Well, I uh... – I, I think the consistency was on uh, – there's two things that weren't consistent. The defense and uh, uh, Mariota's ball protection. I think the ball protection is going to come. I think that was being a second-year quarterback. I think that's coming. Yeah. He did better down the stretch. Uh, the consistency on defense is, is, is really troublesome. You like the Jacksonville game where mm -hmm. all we had to do is beat Jacksonville and then beat Houston, and it's us losing last night to the Patriots. Uh <laughs> It's <laughs> could have been us losing the Patriots instead of them. So and we could have been the pinata that Tom Brady. Uh, I, yeah, I think that consistency will come with. The, I, I think the consistency is directly attributable to the, the missing pieces of talent. Mm -hmm. So yeah. see first part of the show if they address receiver and corner. Right. I think see part second part of the show the consistency comes. That's that's what I think. But we're hopeful. Two thousand two thousand seventeen. Onward or upward? Well, based on the where the division stands now, if they don't win the South next year, th there needs to be a sh strong look at coaching. But I think they should. So, all right, we're at seven minutes with that.